In Google Calendar, it's easy to schedule one-time activities, such as conferences, or reoccurring events, like staff meetings. When you receive an invitation to an event, you can let everyone know you're attending with a single click. In this video, we're going to learn how to create an event, invite guests, reserve a room or resource, add event details, video conferencing, and attachments. We'll also learn how to save or update an event and notify your guests. And we'll look at responding to events, check who accepted and declined your invite, and then we'll cover deleting an event and restoring events that you might have deleted by mistake. Let's get started. In any web browser, open a new tab and go to calendar.google.com. Click an empty time slot in the calendar grid and select event. You can start typing the title of the event here. Adjust the date and time and you can save your event and it's created. Optionally, to create an event using another calendar, next to your name, click the down arrow and select a calendar. After you've added your event title, date, and time, you can click the More Options or Save. More Options will open the event in a full screen window. For now, let's save this event and take a look at it on the monthly calendar view. We'll just click save right up here. You can also create a calendar event by clicking the plus button at the lower right corner of the screen. You can cancel this action by clicking the X on the upper left. Now let's open and edit your event by cylinder grid and choosing the pencil to open it up in full view. In the guest tab, go to add guests and you can enter the first few letters of a person's name or email address in the box here. Matching names and addresses in your organization's directory appear as you enter in text. You can also add Google group mailing list addresses to invite a large group of people all at once. Then click on the suggestion to add that person to the event. If no suggestions appear, enter your guest's full email address. You can mark a guest attendance as optional or required. Just hover over the guest's name and click the mark optional or select again to mark it as required. To allow guests to modify the event, invite others or see the guest list, under the guests can, check the appropriate boxes. If you create an event in calendar and don't give permission to your guests to modify an event, they won't be able to change the event's date or time in their own calendar. You can reserve a room or resources in your calendar. If you don't see resources, room details, or automatic room suggestions, your G Suite administrator might not have set them up for your organization. Based on your work location, number of attendees, and previous room bookings, suggestions may automatically appear, or you can just type them. You'll also be able to select from a list here. Just point to the room that meets your criteria and select it. You can point to a room to see it, the details such as the capacity, location, equipment and features. You can remove a resource by hovering over it and selecting the X next to the resource name. If the time zone is other than your own, you can set the time zone here and choose from the list. Then select the time zone that you require. Click OK. You can also set up your reoccurring event. Just click here where it says does not repeat 
and choose the one that you require or make up a custom one. I'm going to make this event reoccur every week until September 6th. The Find a Time tab helps you find a time when your co-workers and resources are free for the meeting. Here you can see with this long gray bar, it's likely a good time to have the meeting. You can also add video conferencing to your meeting by selecting it here. This will create a link so that everybody can get to the Hangout if they need at the time of the meeting. You can add details to the meeting such as contact information, instructions, or links for your event. Format your description by adding bold, italics, and underlines or lists and links here. And you can add attachments such as documents pre or presentations to your event right from Google Drive or upload them directly. Just select the file that you these attachments are handy because the links to them will appear at the time of the meeting in their calendar so it's easy to access them. When you're finished filling in the details, save your event and send invitations. Click send to notify guests by email or don't send if you don't want to notify guests at this time. If you're inviting people outside of your organization, click invite external guests and notify them or continue editing to notify them later. Because we've shared an attachment in Google Drive, here it's asking us if we want to give them permission to view, edit, or comment that document and choose an invite. When you get an invitation to an event, it appears in your calendar. To reply to the invitation in the calendar grid, click the event and at the bottom, select your response. To change your response at any time, you can click the event and choose a new response. You can also add a note to your RSVP. You get invitations by email as well. If you're using Gmail, you can respond to the invitation by clicking RSVP in the email invite or select a response option in the email. You can check who accepted and declined your event by checking the event details and you'll see a green check mark box next to the name. If you invite a group to an event, you'll click the down arrow to see the responses from your guests. An X will appear if they are declining your event. To delete an event, just select it in your calendar grid and click the trash can. Here it'll send a cancellation to the guest and you can add a note here. You can recover an event that you deleted by mistake. Just choose the gear and select trash and here are all your deleted events. To restore the event, check the boxes the events that you want to restore and choose the back arrow button. Restore all selected. Otherwise, to permanently delete the event, you can choose the trash can after you've selected those events. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, click the bell for updates, and please be sure to Share this video if you found it helpful. Your comments and likes help me create better future videos.